The warm welcome of Yerevan isn't just a myth, it is clearly visible on its people's faces. It is present throughout Yerevan during the city's anniversary celebrations, where radiant smiles can be seen on every square and every street. The pomegranate fruit is more than just a symbol. It is our most powerful symbol. It is featured in Armenian paintings, architecture and manuscripts. Although Yerevan was founded in 782 BC, the city is a modern one indeed, just like its airport which gives visitors a foretaste of what's to come. At the foot of Mount Ararat lies this accessible and efficient city. No longer merely functional, the metro has undergone a positive transformation thanks to the continuous work and investment of the municipality. It is possible to be modern and yet retain what the elders once created using tufa, a local volcanic stone which perfectly complements current trends. The spirit of keeping tradition alive in the face of progress adds to the distinctive atmosphere of beautiful streets in the city centre. Quality of life and safety reign supreme in this green city. Its many parks and fountains are a permanent invitation to take a stroll. True Armenians are very welcoming actually. They are very warm, very friendly people. There is a strong sense of family here. So um, once they get to know you, they invite you to be part of this big family called Armenia. The produce of the land contributes to the low cost, high standard of living. Shopping, fashion, temptation is all around. As the day ends, terraces and cafes come alive, heralding the beginning of smile-filled evenings. Luckily for us, Yerevan enjoys close ties with the world of jazz. Not many capitals can draw such strong inspiration from their past. Nearly 3,000 years of unique historical heritage prepare the city for a promising future. We are proud of our rich heritage. Noah's Ark came to rest on Mount Ararat and we are proud of our history. Erebuni was the starting point where we are still excavating the beginnings of a civilization. One of the main distinctive features in the heart of Yerevan is the rich architectural heritage. Western and Asian influences blend harmoniously. It is a city in continuous architectural evolution. Tina Daran is home to 17,000 ancient manuscripts which bear witness to an original alphabet. This shrine holds and displays hundreds of unique documents and books pampered with the utmost care. Unsurprisingly, UNESCO designated Yerevan as World Book Capital 2012.
Yerevan is home to some very important public institutions founded on the country's independence, safeguarding its political stability and stable currency. These are the Office of President, the Parliament and Government Houses, the Town Hall and the Central Bank. Like the city itself, the Town Hall and the headquarters of the Central Bank of Armenia are modern and dynamic. The Armenian Dram, the national currency, was launched in 1993 and is a token of strength and safety. The economy boasts macroeconomic stability with high growth, low inflation and low debt. The Nasdaq OMX Armenia Stock Exchange no longer requires a designated building and operates online. An efficient financial system is a positive sign of the country's economic progress on the global playing field. The numerous banks located in Yerevan are a sign of stability in terms of business development. Armenia has a fully liberalized foreign exchange market. Both capital and current accounts are also liberalized and foreign investors are free to repatriate their profits. I, I think that diaspora and Armenians who are repatriating to Armenia have had a very positive impact in Armenia. I think. Uh, there are a number of them in positions uh, throughout the country. Um, Armenia is, is unique in the region in that it has this, this global diaspora. And uh, in many ways, Armenia is poised with close connections to the West, to the Middle East, and to the Russian-speaking world. They think that the uh, future of Armenians in technologies and in engineering. The university try to involve lots of uh, good professors and also knowledge and skills to develop engineering in, in our country. This knowledge-based economy has incentivized thriving businesses in diverse markets. As a world leader in electronic design, automation and semiconductor intellectual property, Synopsis is a perfect example. The wealth of the high-tech experience in Armenia for a number of years was very helpful for us and for American companies at large to be established here. But in addition to that, the education system have helped us establish our, the largest international site of our company in Armenia itself. Training the workforce towards what you need is an additional element. So that's why a synopsis program that we established here can train the workforce easily and prepare the necessary resources for us to, to obtain the best results. The level of education is on par with Armenia's ambitions. The majority of the population have university degrees. Numerous international firms are attracted to the affordable labor market. Education is, is a huge investment in, in Armenia. We want an educated populace. We want a populace that can uh, uh, take part in, in international commerce. In Yerevan, the digital realm is already well established in everyday life. The TUMO Center for Creative Technologies is undoubtedly its most striking example. Its two levels welcome scores of young people who come in and familiarize themselves with the communication tools of the future. The TUMO Center for Creative Technology is a big uh, and huge learning factory where kids come free of charge and they learn 21st century skills that will help them broaden their horizons and become experts in four focus areas, animation, web development, web design, and uh, game development.
During a very special event, students perform a concert using iPads as musical instruments. Yerevan is connected. The city boasts a vast network which provides coverage even in the metro and at bus stops. 4G is set to become widespread for mobile phones and portable computers. In Yerevan, Jews, Yezidis, Molokans, Greeks, Kurds and Assyrians enjoy living side by side with Armenians in peaceful harmony. Armenia was the first nation to adopt Christianity as its state religion in 301. The Armenian church plays an important role in the life of Armenians. One of the city's main attractions in the centre is the Blue Mosque, also known as the Iranian Mosque. Today it serves as a museum. Where roots run that deep, traditions endure. Armenian cross stones artists sculpt bonds between the church and its followers. Armenian carpets are the stuff of legends, a craft that is very much alive and whose secrets have been passed down centuries of generations. Just like cognac, which has become a flagship export. As can be seen in the Cafégion Centre for the Arts, artistic expression is blossoming all over the city. Armenian artists joining the rendezvous with international contemporary art. Abundant museums and exhibitions bear witness to the importance of painting in Yerevan life. Dance, such as those choreographed by Sophie de Voyon, adds an element of grace that is essential to this volcanic land. Beautiful hotels, conference rooms and gourmet restaurants indicate that tourists are most welcome in Yerevan. extremely helpful if you need something people are opening the doors people are inviting you and you should try when you have dinner or lunch with an Armenian guy to cover the check by the end of the day it's more or less impossible in many places such as Shea Gayane you can enjoy the famous Armenian hospitality while tasting local dishes and being treated like a guest in a private home The Armenian Tourist Board is doing quite a good job in promoting the country abroad. That's number one. Number two is that people are constantly looking for, for new destinations, places they haven't been, and Armenia is one of, of those places. You've got it. In Yerevan, anything is possible. For a unique first-hand experience, all you need to do is to come and feel the warm welcome and celebration of life.